European Open Championships. And the next race on the pool deck, the men's 100 backstroke for the S2 classification. The S2 class for swimmers with uh, severe disability. S1 to S10 goes for physical impairments, with S1 being the most impaired. This is the S2 class, and watch the different techniques of starting, the different ways these swimmers are held by their coaches. To be like a standard developing belt, you have to say, one of them very similar. Alina in one, Marco Dimitris in two, Anna Bratets in three, Dimitri Kokora, the European record holder, in four, Alamarchuk in five, Jacek Czech from Poland in lane number six, and the uh, Amiko from Russia in lane number seven, and in lane number eight, Chao Pina. Good support from the home crowd there, Jalapena. But we saw some of these swimmers swim in the freestyle events earlier in the week, and that can be quite a, a good gauge for what they're going to do because a number of them swim backstroke in the freestyle events. Yeah, and it's always quite surprising to see that they'll post, they'll swim the same stroke and they'll do everything exactly the same, but their positions will be different in the backstroke and their and their time sometimes, even though. It was only a few days ago that they did pretty much the same race. So, uh, but as you said, Paul, they've all sort of developed their own way of starting. And now, actually, they all seem to go for this being held at full stretch at the feet by their coaches. So they obviously think they've tried and tested a lot of different ways of doing it, and this seems to be the most beneficial. Yeah, everyone just getting into position here. 100 backstroke for the S2 classification. Some of them with their arms outstretched above their heads. One or two with their arms down by the side. Alpina there. One arm up, one arm down. We'll see, Paul, as they pull off a lot of them use double arm backstroke technique but Jalpino as you said with one arm up one down he's actually opted for the single arm technique so he was in the position ready to go but already the advantage is coming from those middle lanes both with a double arm backstroke technique well we shall see Dimitri Kokorev he's a European record holder in this one he swam the same stroke said in the 200 freestyle and he actually broke the 100 freestyle record at halfway in the 200 freestyle and that was a time that he swung there of 203.96 and that would get him a world record in this one as well. Yeah we saw him in fine form when he broke that European record in the 200 freestyle earlier this week so we know that if he's managed to rest well and eat well and recover well over the last few days that we could be in for a really special performance here as he, he reaches the first turn in the lead and two seconds he's got from Palamarchuk in second place. Well, it was a very, very good split and I can tell you that he has gone over on the 50 backstroke there in a new 50 backstroke world record time. Oh my goodness, he is racking up the records, Dmitry Kokorev. That very, very high intensity double arm backstroke. A little bit more intense than Palomarcho next to him. Yeah, and he's got a higher stroke rate, but he's also got a, a slightly better body position. And we can see his chest is high in the water. And that's because he's producing such a high stroke rate that he's managing to generate the power to keep his body up, which is very difficult for these S2 swimmers. Well, here is Kokorev now coming into the last turn. Palomarcho coming back. Just very slightly, no, but he's not going to catch Dmitry Kokorev. This is going to be a fantastic time. This is going to be a massive world record for Dmitry Kokorev in 2.02.25. It's a world record swim again for Dmitry Kokorev. What a fantastic performance by this Russian. Palomarchuk in second and Macro Dimitris from Greece in third position, but superb stuff, Dimitri Kokorev. Absolutely, and the Russians are using this as a selection meet for the Paralympic Games, which is 
one of the reasons that we're seeing Dimitri Kokorev in such good form, he's definitely put his name in contention for selection for a trip to Rio de Janeiro in the summer. Well, he is absolutely blitzing the swims this week. Dimitri Kokorev, that was fantastic. It was something like five seconds better than he's ever swum before in the 100 backstroke. The world record was set last year by Yang Yang of China, who has been a big threat to Dmitry Kokorev, and he's responded to the challenge given by the Chinese swimmer. Yeah, and as we can see in this shot, he has she's got a lot better range of motion in his shoulders. So we get he managed to take bigger arm strokes, but he doesn't manage to grab that much water because he doesn't have the ability to close his fingers. So he does slip the water, but he has to maintain that high stroke rate, as I said, to keep his body up and to keep moving forward. And today he got it absolutely spot on. Well, into the finish. He was looking for that record, I am sure. He went out with great intent. A world record split at halfway, 58.06. A record for the 50 backstroke, 202.25. A record for the 100 backstroke. He is very satisfied indeed. And that will send the message to his competitor, Yang Yang of China, who had such a good Paralympic Games in London. Dmitry Kokorev is the champion here in Funchal in a world record time with Palomarchuk the silver and Macro Dimitris the bronze. Well, Paul, one of the great things about being able to swim the same stroke, so swimming backstroke on backstroke.